Right now, there's a shortage of qualified STEM personnel in the world, and I think the typical engineer in Long Island is somewhere around 60, so they're all getting ready to retire, so there's gonna be more of a shortage, more of a demand, so more higher paying jobs out there. The Eastern Long Island Academy of Applied Technology opened the STEM High School in September of 2014. Senator Laval has been instrumental in making sure that there has been a voice for a regional STEM program. Many people were part of the development of this program. We are really proud of that collaboration and the ability for our partners to have a voice to help build a program that allows students to prepare not just for college, but for our Long Island workforce. What's really important is our industry contacts. Make sure that we have the current technology that the businesses of the world will be looking for. It's a full day high school, so in the morning we get all of our core classes, but they're all with an engineering twist. And then in the afternoon we come for two and a half hours of engineering where we work on cool projects like robots. Many businesses have been involved in the creation of uh, the STEM High School. Uh, one of our newest partners is Press Apart. I'm working on a prosthetic arm. The arm I'm working on was 3D printed at Press Apart's facility. So I've been programming the arm and making a circuit board for the arm. New York State hosts what's called Manufacturing Day. Pressy Park was one of the companies that we went to visit and tour the manufacturing facilities. And that's when we met Carl. We saw the 3D printed hand, which he immediately lent to us. I mean, this was a real nice piece of equipment he gave to us. When we went to Pressy Park, it was on a whole new level. But when you got there, you had the machines, you had all these people who knew exactly what they were doing. And it was so inspiring to see that there were these people that are so in depth in their career and so in love with their job. We have you know, a cooperative program, uh, we have an apprenticeship, and we also have an intern program. We try to enlighten them and say there are many different facets from you know, the engineering aspect that they should go where their passion tells them to go and if they like what they do, they'll be successful. I actually just got accepted to Vaughan College, so I'll be taking the mechatronics program there which is all about robots and robot automation. I plan on going to college and pursuing a higher degree. I'm gonna get the associates and bachelors and hopefully get my masters. And when I get there, I'll see if I can get a PhD, but that's a, it's a little bit farther down. My time here, I think no matter what I do, I've learned that engineering has, and like the growing technology in the world, makes engineering useful no matter what field you go into. And like the skills I've learned here are gonna be beneficial no matter what I do. You alone are improving the world every single day as an engineer because that's what your job is. It's solving problems and creating these solutions. If you love something, you can make a job out of it. Like my dad always said, do something you love and then the money will follow. I wish I can like, have a place like that to work when I grow up.